And what are you looking forward to about coming back to Cardiff? Because, I mean, obviously, Ryan, you're no stranger to Cardiff. Have you been to Cardiff much of you? Yeah, yeah, I've been there over the last few years. I did a office to a gentleman. I did We Were Rock here in Cardiff. I did... Uh, I did the commitments in Cardiff as well. I like it. I love the theatre. I love the way, you know, I love the setup. I love the area. Um, I think we went out on a boat trip last time, which is kind of nice. And, uh, yeah, and the, you know, and the audiences, you know, the Welsh audiences love music. You know what I mean? Music, good singing. Um, you know, they really appreciate it. They're very vocal, you know, in their applause. They're very vocal. I wonder if they'll uh, sing us off the stage, actually, whilst we're performing. <laughs> yeah. But it's um, no, I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be, it'll be great. I can't wait. How about yourself, Ryan? Any any favourite haunts you want to sort of revisit or, or whatever? Yeah, well, no, same goes. I mean, I mean, the main haunt I want to revisit is the is the Millennium Centre itself. It's it's so it's so cool to play in there. Really enjoy it, and um, I can't remember how many it seats, but it's a lot. And uh, yeah, as Ian said, it's such a great reception. I don't think anything really rivals it apart, apart from maybe Edinburgh. Um, the playhouse up there is good, but I, yeah, I mean, obviously, I have a soft spot for Cardiff, but playing, playing, playing the Millennium Center is a, is amazing. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Right, and and what do you both hope that um, audiences will take away from coming to see Jesus Christ Superstar? I had a guy um, who was actually a Jethro Tull fan come up to me outside um, the Liverpool Empire and and was chatting about the show, and he said. I've um, I've never been to the theatre before to watch a musical. I've I've never done that before. But I loved this album so much. I came to watch the show. I was he was just a fan of the music rather than of the the show and the story itself. And he said, and I absolutely loved it. And he said, and since I've gone out and booked three other musicals to go and watch. So um, I'm hoping that's the similar reaction from a from around the place for like music lovers. It's a lovely, it's a lovely thing that as well for people to come to you because obviously they follow your work and then you know, and then that opens up a totally new genre to them. So that must be quite a special feeling for you. Um, I mean, maybe it's unique to this, um, to this show. I don't know. I I, I know from doing you know doing the old sixties and seventies shows that then um, a lot of a lot of guys who are music fans come and watch and go, oh, I don't really like musicals, and then they come and yeah. watch a show that's you know got a load of music in it and like rock music, and they go, actually, it's just this is all right. It's it's got the the tunes that I love. I have a bit of a laugh and I feel something as well, and I think that's what everybody's looking for when they go to a night out of the theater. Cool. And how about yourself, Ian? What do you hope the audiences will take away from the show? Is it, is it like you know similar to what Ryan said? It's been um, it's an it's it's a it's a full on experience what they what they what they get. You know, it's different to you know we end in a crucifix, you know, and not a not a mega mix, you know, and and mm. you know, which is so common in like regional theatres. I think a lot of I think the audience what audience are taking is that is they've been taken or treated treated like um like London theatre goers. Do you know what I mean? That, that mm. this show came out. Of, came out of the Regent's Park Theatre and it's a real classy amazing piece of theatre um which costs a lot to it costs a lot for this to tour you know and um and usually so what people will get is like a you know a class production that's being toured around the the, the toured around and um and yeah and hopefully they'll they'll you know they'll see that and similarly to you know what Ryan said is that people come and watch it for the first time and they're and they're and they're stunned by what they're seeing, not only from like, you know, just the singing and the music. I mean, uh, Drew McConey who choreographed, who choreographed this piece, this thing is like a complete moving piece from the, from the moment it starts to the moment it ends. It's a full on experience. Uh, the director, Tim Sheila, said he, he would prefer if we didn't have an interval, you know, because we want it to be this full on experience for an audience member. So um, we're not trying to, you know, we're not trying to shortchange people. We're trying to really give people an experience. and. Um, and I think that transcends it. I think that, that, you know, comes over to the audience from us. Well, I hope it does anyway, you know? Yeah. And what do you think, you, for, personally for yourselves, what are you both taking away from being in the musical as well? Because, I mean, obviously, this is probably quite different to what you've both done in the past as well. Good question. <laughs> yeah, good question. What am I taking Well, I get paid to do it. Remember that as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what, what, you know, I mean, I get paid to play for a living, you know, and, and, and it's, it's even better when you get to to play in something that means that means something it does mean something to me i believe the story i believe the story is a, is a um, an important story to tell about the story of, of life being um there's suffering you know and perseverance through suffering in order to um 
you know, and, and for the resurrection on the other side, that good in the hope that good will prevail basically is, and, mm. and that's, that's an important story to tell. And, um, yeah, and it's, I'm, I'm sort of I'm privileged to be able to be in a, a, a job that does that, you know. It's also very cool that you get to be, like, on your knees, centre stage, doused in blood, lashed. <laughs> it also, it's a, uh, that's a big thing to tick off in an actor's sort of career boxes. You're like, yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. I got to do that. I got to do that yeah. one time. Although, although, I mean, at one point I get I get a lot of glitter thrown over me, you know, and it, you know, it will make sense. If you come and watch it, you'll understand why there's glitter in it. You know, but um, but that glitter is everywhere across the UK. It's like I'm leaving a trail of glitter behind me in every apartment I'm in, in every dressing room. It just it gets everywhere. 